Cattle in a feedlot are gradually transitioned from a pasture-based diet to a grain-based diet over a couple of weeks. This allows the digestive system to adapt to the change. There is no typical feedlot diet, as feed is adjusted depending on the target market and customer requirements. For instance, heavier, long-fed cattle suit the Japanese market, whilst lighter, short-fed cattle, which produce leaner beef, are preferred by the Australian market. This means feed will be specifically prepared for each yard to meet the market specifications or requirements for cattle. This is why Australian feedlots use the services of professional nutritionists to ensure cattle under their care are being fed the correct diet. The building blocks of a feedlot diet are all natural products. Oat and hay or chaff for roughage, oil seed based meals and legumes for protein, a mixture of grain and vegetable oil for energy, plus vitamins and minerals. The majority of feed ingredients are sourced locally. Australia's export beef industry has a reputation for supplying some of the best beef in the world. A high quality end product is only achievable with the use of top grade feed. In fact, accredited feedlots make significant investments in on-site feed preparation facilities and quality ingredients to ensure the best possible diet is provided. This steam flaked grain is not dissimilar to the rolled oats a lot of Australians eat for breakfast. The quality of the cattle feedlot diet also allows cattle to reach marketable weights more quickly, meaning less emissions are produced over their lifetime. Australian and overseas research has actually shown that feedlot cattle produce nearly 40% fewer emissions per kilogram of beef production. And so finishing cattle in feedlots is helping the Australian cattle industry become more environmentally sustainable.